right, everybody, welcome back to um, Doken When. Excuse me, I am. I just had Amber help her to some of the suck my teeth. I'm joined by Will. Hi, Will. Hello. How are you today, Will? I'm good. How are you? I'm tired. Same. I've had a very uneventful, yet somehow eventful day. I did laundry, yep. and I've napped for the better half of today. That sounds like a great day, besides the laundry part. But the napping part Dude, I'm so sounds really good. I was so tired of my job, my big job. I had to walk mm -hmm. for nine hours yesterday, combing the shelves for missing parts. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. I found all of them. Eight missing parts among about, I want to say, seven or eight thousand different parts. It was awful. And, Will, I have a fun story to tell you. You know my other podcast, Games and Gamers? I do. As, uh, Will and I were talking about this prior. I may have a gaming addiction, but if I do have a gaming addiction, it's at least over multiple games. Dale brought me a handful of games, a slew of games with a GameCube and his PS4 and Xbox One games. Because he's get his PS4 doesn't work, and his, I, ha I have his Xbox One. Oh, nice. Do you know how many freaking copies this man gave me of Dark Souls 3? How many? Take a guess. Let's see... Five. Okay, you know what? Not that... He gave me three separate copies. <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't understand why. So I was like, yeah, I don't. I had my own PS4 copy. He gave them to me on Xbox One and PS4. So I was sitting there with two of each. I was like, yeah, wow, thanks. I'm never going to play these. Then I was like, Dale, are you sure you don't want to take one of your Dark Souls? And I'm trying to hand him his Dark Souls back. As you know, like memorabilia. It's one of his favorite games. It's memorabilia. So I was like, he's like, okay. He looks over to my collection of games sees my dark souls 3 and goes and swipes it out of my collection i'll take dark souls 3 for ps4 and leaves he left me with his versions but took my version it's <laughs> it's only fair how is that only fair he didn't have to give them to me i didn't want them and now i'm stuck with them get wrecked i guess uh, will if i gave you a slew of basketballs because will likes basketballs if i gave you a slew of basketballs like here's 10 good uh, basketballs i've had over my life uh you know i want to keep one of them i take a basketball that you owned you would be annoyed well it depends on the basketball it's your it's just your basketball like it's a basketball that you know i may use yeah, this one but, like... but at the same time i don't think i'm going to well, it de well, it depends on the basketball. Now, if it's like, you know, a really nice basketball. Now, if that was like a brand new, never open, it had been played copy once. Of yeah, see, I don't know about that one. That one's kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, mean, I just don't understand. It's like, nah, here's your three version of Dark Souls. Okay, grabs a fourth one. This one will work, and just leaves. Like, oh. <laughs> Thanks for leaving me with your Dark Souls that I'm never going to play. Appreciate it. But speaking of, um, well, also, I started listening to old music from when we were 13. I listened to Wrecking Ball for the first time in 10 years. Yeah. and That is a throwback. I know. Yeah, Wrecking Ball, Roar by Katy Perry, Counting Stars. I've just been in a old mood and I've legit, I'm like, not even going into our topic, I've been legitimately listening to these. But, we're talking throwback. Will and I are going to talk about nostalgia. Old nostalgia things we had from Doken. So, I don't know if Will just did this as a cop-out idea, if he actually thought about this, because he can't show us our topic from the last one. Uh, Probably a little bit of both. You just thought, man, I don't have a topic. Let's just talk about things in Doken. Exactly. Well, Will, since this is your topic, what... You you said didn't you say you had a little list? We can go but we can go on one thing in your list and just kind of bounce back and forth from there. Yeah, I just kind of put like four things down while we were talking earlier. Um, the first one that I thought we should talk about is like the first SSR you got. God, do you remember so, your first SSR? I technically have two 
because the my first SSR I got it was the original Super Saiyan three Go Tanks, right? Yep. But I lost that account, and so my first SSR in my account that I have now was Tech Golden Frieza. I like how you say it. So, it's technically because now that means I have two technical first SSRs too. Yeah, because like you know, I have my first SSR, but I don't have that. I don't have that account anymore. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was like that was two, seven years ago. That was like 2015. Ugh. No, 2016. Uh, gross. That was a long time ago. God, could you imagine how young us would be like if we looked at Doken nowadays? I we would uh, we'd <laughs> flip out. I because I got I was playing the uh, they had some new stuff I added to the legendary GT event, and I took the Tech Kale and Khalifa, and I had him at a million defense come the final phase. And I was like, my God, that's Jeez. ridiculous. But if we're going first SSRs. I can remember my first two, my original OG first SSR was the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Back before Doken Fest sort of thing, like a few months into the game. Yeah. I ran him as lead for the longest time because it's an SSR. He's got to be good, right? Even though he didn't... Uh, if I remember right, he did nothing for my team. If I remember right. He only, like, boosted himself on... What is he, like, 30% to eight attack or something? It wasn't good. Hold up, let me. And then my other one. SSR, it's the AGL. AGL Super Saiyan 2 Goku. You give me a second, I can go look in my thing. I just gotta load up Doken. But my other one was the original. Both of mine are original units, like from you know, like times, like times before the ancient times. Yeah. <clears throat> was the AGL Kaioken Goku on my new account? I my new account, my second account I had. Yeah, which I think, I'm pretty sure. Like I'm, I'm going summonable people because back in the day you could actually go buy an SSR. Or technically, you were, you when you started out the game, you would be given a um five stones to do a free multi or free thing to get a stone. Yeah. Oh no, I was wrong. My first SSR in this account which I thought was Kaioken Goku, it should have been Kaioken Goku, is Super Vegito! Nice. Super Vegito, then Kaioken Goku. I thought I got Kaioken Goku prior, but you know what? I probably went ham on his banner, because that's when they had like the typing banner. It's like, oh, look! AGL oh, unit. I completely forgot about that, too. The old type banners. God, I want them to come back. I'm ready for those guys to like start easy aing because it's going to start happening soon. Oh my gosh! And they're gonna the, the old super leads, bef like the whole type leads before, uh, before categories. Oh, you like the well? If we're gonna talk like that, we gotta talk like the old leads. Well, like the flat leads, you know, the flat like ten thousand attack the, leads, the three thousand. Jeez! Like if I go look. My my list of SSRs is really bizarre. But if I go look at what it used to be, yeah, let's look at Int Gohan. He's Int T Int Key type uh, Int type Key plus three and Attack plus three thousand. That's it. It's ridiculous, man. Man, I I really didn't get a whole lot of Doken Fest at first. My first one is Vegito. Then, like, say, 20 later, I got the AGL Kaioken Blue Goku from the uh, Universe 6 tournament. And then STR Gogeta. This is... Oh, no, there's Tech Gotenks hidden in there. Dude, I miss those days. I miss the days of, like, the crappy leads. Do you, do you miss them like I miss them, Will? Probably not. I'm, I'm, I miss like the old challenge that used to come with it. We're like red zone is the hardest challenge now, but that's specifically red zone <clears throat> or cell max. Like these are specifically spe events that are specifically hard. The, f 
the first SR I got, I re- oh yeah, I remember it was Beerus too. So I, would, I had the Golden Gold Tech Golden Frieza and Tech Beerus. Oh, that's right. You ran those two. Yeah. And I was so broke that I almost ruined it by you uh, aring both of them. So I couldn't have them both on the team, but then you were like, wait, don't do that. <laughs> oh, that's you right. You have enough team space. And I was like, <laughs> team cost. No, the team cost. No. God, now team cost really isn't a thing anymore. And I'm oh gosh. Cause like, I remember one of the biggest achievements I ever had in this game. I think I told you was whenever I, they had all the LRs and they're all free to play LRs. So their cost is mm-hmm. ninety nine. So and I and you got all of them on the same team. Like that was one of my biggest achievements was being able to literally go show that it had like it was like four hundred and ninety something. I'm gonna make it really quick so I can actually see the number. I'm just grabbing some of my LRs. Will five ninety four? I think it's five ninety four. So you made it to five hundred ninety four with all free to play LRs. So that's like a, I think like rank five or six hundred. It's a high rank. So it's like yes, I can finally do something stupid. And I was so I was so happy. These these units are not new. Back in the day, LRs weren't anything what they are now. Like free to play wise. Yeah. Cause easy A's really weren't a big thing. And if they were, they weren't for any LRs, especially free to plays, because I want to say we fought when easy A's first came out. You remember, you remember the first easy A will. Uh, was it the AGL super Saiyan three Goku? Correct. That one was challenging. I, like I missed that kind of challenge that Doken had, like because at that point they had only released one unit in the game, the because the category they had the Int Golden Frieza that was effective mm-hmm. against his category, <clears throat> and I didn't get him, so I ended up rocking the King of Doken Bio Broly until I won. Oh my gosh! Hey, never sleep on Bio Broly. There's gonna come a day that man's gonna easy A and he's gonna be decent. I want them to make a new Bio Broly and Same. have him be, have it be the best unit in the game. Yeah, piss people off. <laughs> make Just... him a Carnival LR, a two hundred percent artificial life forms Carnival Bio Broly with a giant mode like uh, Orange Piccolo. Just. Just make him the best character in the game just to make everybody mad. It's like, this is arguably, this is definitively the worst Dragon Ball movie. Guess what? It's now the best Dragon Ball unit. It's like freaking Bulma. SDR Bulma. Would you have ever thought that Bulma would be the best unit in Doken? Uh, never. My God. She is nasty. Her defense is ridiculous. Her offensive abilities, her support. She is just freaking beyond belief. It's hilarious to think that, you know, like I want to say a year ago, people were talking about, oh, Bulma, me, me, me. we're not going to have any good Bulmas. And now there's like three powerhouse Bulmas in this game. Yeah. The Int one, the te- the Int one that easy a this last. Oh, did she, did she easy a She did easy a She T-U-R'd and easy a correct? I think so. The April Fool's one? Yeah, I believe so. Then you had the Tech Bulma, who easy aid, and T- she already T would but easy aid, and is now... She's good whenever her guard, is, when her damage direction is active, but outside of that, she's not. Then you have a new LR Bulma. All we need now is a Doken Fest Bulma. For real. Do you think we're ever going to get one? Probably not. Probably when the game dies. Well, we can't... What, what what unit was it? It was the STR Super Saiyan Trunks that we made the joke of a while back in like one of our first few episodes of uh, Doken's dying. Doken's gonna die. But they finally awaken that one STR Super Saiyan 2 Trunks and finally the game revitalizes. Yeah. God, it's, it's weird looking back at some of these old units, Will. It really is. Like, I never would have thought that some of these units would ever be released. Like, yeah, it it's actually insane to like look at just things and you're like, man, back in 
Back in the day, we would have never thought. I remember being in one of our personal finance classes because the Super Saiyan 4 is released as a year two units. And I don't Mm -hmm. think you were in the class with us. If you were, I don't remember. But me and Matthew were talking about it and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta being the god of Doken. Yeah. Dude, oh my god. Tech Gogeta was so good upon release. Okay. Yeah. As a unit, he was good upon release, global wise. His team sucked because he didn't have a team. He didn't have a team. That's one of the things that I had down was they had no leader skill. Him and Omega Shenron. I tell people that, and some people don't. They don't believe, believe you. I know. They're it's... like, no, no way. You want to know? It what's really literally good? said <laughs> to be released. I, as far as I know. Last time I had, did it, I actually had a video up showing off that on my YouTube channel. By the way, people, go subscribe to KH Houser and my other YouTube channel, Games and Gamers. But I actually pulled up a video that showed it. Let's see. Why? If I look, why do I, if I look, look it up on my channel, I looked up Doken Battle and Resident Evil 4 popped up. How does that make sense? No, nah, it makes perfect sense. What are you talking about? I mean, I know Resident Evil 4 and Doken are very much the, the exact same game, but. And Danganronpa, I think it's just... I think my phone's just being weird. Did I tell you I got a new phone? You did not. I got a new phone. Who do I... Is it this one? Or is it Boss what Rush? What phone did you get? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is finally... So I got another uh, S20. I just got a pink one. Or like a rose gold. Oh, nice. No! No, darn it. This one doesn't have it. There's one prior to that that he has. This. Anyway... But yeah, I remember those days of running him on the 120s. It's like, oh my god. You go to JP, this is what he could do. But this is what mine does. <laughs> and you're just sitting there, sad. everybody's just sad. I am amazed that they did him. Because right now, you know he's the only unit in the game that has a 70% counter rate? Sorry, I was kind of cutting out there. Say that again. He is the, as far as I know, I'm about to go look at the LRs from year eight. He's the only count super attack unit that has a 70% super attack counter. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's the only one. Not even the LR has it. I'm, I mean, I think they realized their mistake whenever they threw him into a battle and like has five super attacks coming his way. He's like, Nah, bitch, move out the way to every single one of them. For real. God, Will, do you remember your first LR? Uh, my first LR? Like, we're talking, like, summonable LR, summonable. I actually don't remember. Hold up, let me... Let me look. Oh! (laughs) It was, uh, year three... Uh, Vegito. Oh. Vegito. Oh man, God, I have such ve- fun memories of that man. <laughs> oh man, mine was in Super Saiyan Two Gohan, the original god of the game. Oh yeah, which I'm surprised at. I thought Majin Vegito was my first LR because I remember being over at Chase's house one day and doing the tickets during a one- what anniversary was it? Was it? Fifth anniversary? Or Well, we had the ticket. It was like fourth or fifth anniversary where it had all the tickets. And I'm throwing the tickets and I got like a, I got Maja Vegeta on a single. Then I got Bojack on a single. Mm. May, it must have been year three, because he's right before the end Vegeta. Vegito. Yeah, it was year three. It has it has to be year three. And I think I did that like so many times, and then you were telling me um not to quit summoning because I was wasting all my luck. Mm-hmm. Oh, Doken. This game has brought us so much fun over these years, Will. It'll be a sad so day. Much fun. It'll be a sad day when this game dies. I don't know when that's gonna die when it's gonna die. I thought it was gonna be dead by now, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. We'll uh I, we'll see when that day comes. Will, I'm gonna make you a bet. All right, what's the bet? One of us, it's going to sound really stupid, but if Doken is still around when one of us has a son. A son, not a daughter? A son specifically. Mm-hmm. We have to name our firstborn son Doken. 
and never tell him why. Never. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Doken. That's all you. That's all you. <laughs> it's like, come here, Doken. Dad, why is my name Doken? I don't know. It's just a thing. In like 15 years down the line, he just types his name in Google because, you know, we all Google, we all Google our own names. We yeah. all do. He just does a Doken. Doken, Doken battle. Oh my god, I'm named after a mobile game! He finds, somehow finds a, one of these episodes. He finds like, this one specifically. Dad, you idiot! <laughs> Fuck you, Dad! What'd you say? I love you, Doken! Oh, I love you too, son! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. That'd be awful. Because, you know, there's some really bad names out there for kids. No offense to the names out there. But it's just... Hell yeah. <clears throat> like, it's not even trying okay. to sound hmm. Let's be honest. Who looks at a kid and is like... Like a newborn baby and is like... Darren? Yeah. Eugene. <laughs> like, nobody... Nobody has... Seri- like, that's ridiculous, man. Well, you have that, and um, and we, 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 I think, I think you once said this to someone. We know someone whose name is actually Darren. We grew up; his daughter was in our class. I feel like you once said it, like, and he accidentally overheard. It's like, what kind of person just names looks at a newborn? It's like, yes, your name will be Darren. Yeah, well, I knew Mister Huffman was right there, and so I chose Darren, like, because <laughs> I, I was like. I want to poke fun at him, and he was like, "What the heck, Will?" And God. I was like, "You know, I'm not wrong. I'm, am I wrong?" <laughs> like God, there's some names. Like if you're naming these names, nothing against these names. But Will makes a point because, like, Bob. If your name is legitimately Bob or Robert, I have never met anybody younger than me that's named Robert. Well, I mean, yeah. I I think it's like just generational stuff, you know. Like even like, Robbie. Like I've never met a Robbie younger than me. I'm sure. True. Like it's some of those weird names. I say weird names. It's very insulting. It's not meaning to be, but it's like that. I don't. It's. Uh, <laughs> what is your name? My name is. Ba- His name is Bartholomew. Those are the weirdest ones. Like they have like the long names. Mm-hmm. Mommy. Yes, Barth. Why am I named Bartholomew? You know what? I don't know, son. I I don't know. Oh, well, I love you, mommy. I loved you once too, Bartholomew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, we got a little off topic of our just random. <laughs> um, we sound so like a bunch of idiots. This guy, we sound like idiots do, going off sometimes. Do you remember? I know you remember this, but like the. Was we still talk about it to this day, the three hundred stone <laughs> debacle, dude? What three hundred stones? What? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Do I actually have a summoning video of that up on? Uh... Doken would never. I do. do that. Will I have a video from five years ago? That is literally my luck isn't global. Talking about that, where I went and hopped on JP with the three hundred stones and just summoned. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I uh, you you remember why that was right? It was a banner banner placement thing was wrong. I think it was for the was it physical Kefla? I don't I don't remember why it happened. I just remember that it happened and everybody was so mad. I remember you like came into class. We were sitting in Miss Alsebrook's computer class, and you were like, "Wow, <laughs> listen to this." It's like, what's going on? I'm slightly insulted that you have my voice higher pitch than your original voices, even though my voice has always been lower than yours. No, I'm just... <laughs> okay, fine. Man, listen to this. Oh, Will. Will. <laughs> I have to go to work. <gasps> I have no, to go but, summon. Uh, yeah, you were like, listen to this crap. And I was like, what's going on? And then we were like, no, this is stupid. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was, and that's still fun. Just how it be. This is my Facebook group, my notorious Facebook group that I've talked about more than once on this podcast. I think I haven't I told you about this this Facebook group, Will? Uh, yes. Like I've talked about it a lot. It's the one that you're in that I that I had to talk oh. to, that you never. This man's never on Facebook. I had to pull some strings to get him into this Facebook group, and I was like, "Thanks," and never did anything. Yeah, well, you wanted me in there, and I was like, sure, cool. Hey, we could be buddies and promote our podcast together and argue with each other, and no one will ever know that we do each other in real life. That was the whole point. We could have been stupid fun friends on Facebook. I had a plan, and you ruined it. My cat just fell down the stairs. Well, I nice. Told you, well, I told you I have a cat now, right? Yes. Yeah, his name is Minion. Minion's a bastard. Speaking of bastards, Will, do you remember the best Doken event the best event Doken has ever actually dropped? If you're gonna say the world tournament, I'll leave right now. No, I'm being I'm being, I'm being legitimately the boss rush. Oh bot I remember not being able to do boss rush when it first came out. Same. I remember there's an hour. I'm going to say um, people out there, I'm pulling from my old videos. There is an hour long. It should be like an hour long video on my channel, like hour and a half long where I fought the boss rush with a super class team. Do I still have that video up? Cause I love boss rush is, is now just become like a legitimate, easy thing. Which it's just like, uh, Easy free stones. Yeah. But back in the day, it was an amazing thing because it was hard. Because teams were literally like the OG boss rush. So it consisted of the four, uh, four stages. You had the original Z hard enemies, like the first five, which were the flat leads. Then you had the next ones, which went up to, I want to say, like Janemba, Gogeta, and stuff like that. You know, like the, those mm -hmm. flat ones. Then they went up to like the super leads, which were the first like 70, like the first five. They, I don't think it was a 70 percent leads. I could be wrong, but I don't think it went all 70 percent. No, because Omega's in the latter half. It's just like here's some of the uh, god leads or demigod leads, five of them. Then you had all of them. And then you had to do a boss rush that was all of those bosses. Z hard and super. Mm hmm. And. It was an intimidating thing because you look it's like, oh my god, can my little team of 70% stats beat this? And so you're running along teams trying to do stuff, and I, I couldn't find the video. Maybe I may have taken it down. I probably did because like an hour and a half long, and I died, unfortunately. But you take a team in there, and it just gets intimidating because this is back in the t when events were harder. So you could take an event. Let's say you took a fifty percent super class team with double Vegito Blue into an event. Those events <clears throat> could were challenging because the um, one it's fifty percent stats, but they hit harder. So you could uh, leave that event with using an item or two, half, or sometimes using two items. So you do that wrong, like say twenty enemies, twenty bosses. It gets a lot more intimidating because oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to have enough items. So yeah, like the extreme team was the best one because you had units like Buhan that could heal. You want to bring healing units and tanking units so you could survive long enough. But then it became just what it is now. I can go take a free-to-play team. You know what? Before we're done, I'm going to take a free-to-play team through, this, uh, through Boss Rush. Yeah, I'm actually doing the newest one because I haven't so, done it yet. Is there a new one? No. Oh, no. You Really? Yeah, dude. I've been busy like the past three weeks so i haven't played Doken. oh i took dragon ball heroes through it do you remember the first time we got dragon ball hero units i do i don't remember when it was but i remember <laughs> you being obsessed with them it was 2017 we got like sealess and all them oh wait yeah i remember because uh we were in coach weldon's class and I, we were summoning for them. Yeah, and then we had the fusions. I want, I want them to start. I wish they'd bring fusions back and do something different with them because they have a, they have a whole slew of, uh, you know, fusions that they could bring out still, mm -hmm. like the Nappa and Raditz fusion. Nappitz or Rappa? What's his name? Naditz. I don't remember. I think it's Naditz. Naditz. Nope, Nicole Naditz. I don't know who you are. 
who are you? But uh, I remember, I love those. The, the crossover stuff. I want them. Do you remember the first and only crossover Dokens ever really done? Which was... The One Piece crossover right before the original Prime Battle Goku dropped. Do you remember I, that? I do. I don't think so. Really? Dude, that was such a fun thing. You took on Doflamingo. He's a big... I, I know. I, I don't know how much you know about One Piece, but he's one of the big enemy, like big bads in One Piece that Luffy takes when he goes gear forth. The guy with the sunglasses I... and the pink boa. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And looks like he should be a male stripper. <laughs> okay. I mean, am I wrong? You're not wrong. I'm never wrong. That's the best part about Doke and Win. Hayden's never wrong. So unquote that. So quote me. I'm never wrong. But you would do take on Do Flamingo, and then as opposed to dropping something related to the event, the One Piece thing, it dropped an STR by guys Goku. A UR STR by guys Super Saiyan Goku that is a trophy at this point. Speaking of trophy units, well, I gotta tell you of one of my favorite trophy units that I miss dearly. But you got this one every time it dropped, and you put it, you would feed it into the prime battle Goku, because it was a free super attack, because it was like a I think. When the Prime Battle Goku dropped, it was a 1% drop rate after the initial run to get another tech Goku to drop. So you had to get a super attack up in all sorts of other ways as opposed to him, because, let's be honest, you're not going to run it 100 times to get one Goku out of it. And you have to do no. that like like 20-ish times. But, so I, guess I, I talk trophy. You remember what... Well, what's been your favorite trophy unit that Dokens ever released? Like, it's a unit that you can't, that you can't get anymore. Was a one time thing, or you know, stuff like that. I don't know. Probably the AGL TUR Yamcha. Hey, he comes I around more more frequently. I'll count him. I don't know, man. I just. That's an interesting question. I'm not sure. I I got one for you. I got one for some people out there, the oldies, oldies but goldies out there. This was a promo SR that released when one of the movies was released. It was right around December. I want to say it was like maybe mid or early December. I uh, you log on when Resurrection F was released. And Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, which is what it was called back then, was revealed. We were given an SR intelligent Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku. Do you remember him? I think so. I mean, I'm sure you're on the wiki. If you go look him up, he's an SR, and I miss that unit. He was like one of my, this is my original account. I miss that unit because he was such a fun trophy unit. It's like the Kabito Kai and Piccolo Jr. strike event things or the Goku Arale unit, stuff like that, that are trophy units. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another crossover. I did forget the Arale thing was in here. That was a crossover. But having all that together was just, oh, that was fun. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I remember this guy. And he was he was so much fun. Because he was the only Super Saiyan Blue Goku in the game. Doken Wiki doesn't even have the date he released on JP. They have it <laughs> no for for global. They have it for JP. What was it 2016? April eight, 18th of April 2015. 15. And for global. It just says prior to October 30th, 2015. Oh, I thought it was in it December. Okay. Have the, I mean, doesn't even have an exact date. Oh, that means it's 2015. God, that was within Doken's first year. Because Doken was We're released. Old. I know, Will. I know. I don't like thinking about it. And the crazy thing is, we're not I'm old. 23. We're not I'm old. Not really old. We're not old, yet we're old. Like, here, let me let me let me throw you an older old one, Will. Do you remember the strike events back when we actually got new strike events? Yeah, 
because I'm sitting here looking at my intelligence Lord chilled, which dropped. And I was so excited when he was being released because I loved uh, people out there who don't know. I'm a big Bardock fan. Bardock's my second favorite Dragon Ball character. Will, have you seen Dragon Ball Heroes? Yes. You don't. Do you know what I'm about to say? I no. The Goku, Gohan, Bardock family, grandfather, father, son, Kamehameha. Okay. They released it. Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, UI Goku, and Super Saiyan 2, or Dark Super Saiyan 2, future one-armed Gohan, do one conjoined key blast attack. Really? Yes! I'm gonna go to the Discord, somewhere in my whatever topics, and I'm gonna send you a picture. There it is! You're on Discord right now, right? Yeah. Just send it to me oh. directly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I did too quick. Oh, this is a oh, this is a stupid picture. That's not exactly it, but I, one I tagged Gwen because it has Goten and Goku Jr. in there. But take out those two. That's actually from it, and oh my god, is it great? It's so phenomenal. People are blew their minds. Because it blew people's minds because we want that. Everybody now wants that as the first Heroes LR, which surprisingly we don't have. What do you mean we don't have a Heroes LR? We don't have a Dragon Ball Heroes LR. Like, we just don't have an LR for Dragon Ball Heroes. Surprisingly. You'd think by now we would have had one. They released. This just seems wrong. I know. Dragon Ball Heroes is being slandered because Dragon Ball Heroes is a very niche team. I love the Dragon Ball Heroes team. I can go beat events with this team. It's not the best team to go beat events with. Like Cell Max, Broly, Cooler Core. It's not the best team to go take on those. I'm not even going to deny that. But why is my phone buzz buzzing? Shut up, phone. Oh, I don't care. But it's not a good team. It's it's a it's a fun team. It's not a good team because they one they don't have enough hard hitters in there. They don't have all the best defensive units, and they don't have an LR to give them the HP beef they need. They're two hundred percent, but it's all TURs. Jeez. Yep. I'm hoping. Uh, one man, day. one day, one day they'll actually be the best team in Doken. Uh, yeah, I. I wish if they keep going the route they've done with heroes, it won't be because they just, Hey, they make them specifically. They have to be on a hero's team. Otherwise they will not function. True, like the, li true. like the limit breakers this past year. They're fun units, mm -hmm. but the fact that they have to like be on essentially a hero's team, to function limits their abilities. Cause the hero's units aren't the best. This next batch of units that are going to easy aid this year, which is like Demigra, the Go Tanks, the Go Honks, Mask, uh, Mask King, the Black Mask Saiyan, those ones only rely on like a single unit from the heroes category to make them good. So they'll be great. I remember. Well, do you remember the first anniversary? Were you around? You weren't around during first anniversary, were you? I was not. I don't think so. When was first anniversary? Like 2016. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, like, when? Uh, July? Of 2016? I think... No, it was Gogeta. Dale... And... Dale graduated... 17. Uh, it was 2017. 17? Yeah, so I wasn't, because I started playing, it was like that... Oh, so, when... So, Let you, me... yeah, no, that, that would make sense, because you said Gogeta... Was not go to go tanks or things. He was like latter, tanks. latter half I'm, of 2016. I'm looking up. Yeah, November of 2016. Yeah, the latter half. You know what? That does yeah. make sense. I was hanging out at your house like near Christmas, and it was cold. And I think, and we were sitting there. You got go go tanks and Broly. Yeah. Do you remember Colin? We had Colin playing this game for like a solid two months. And then he 
And then he quit. I don't even remember why he quit. We had like him. We had slowly. It was becoming a parasite because you know we people out there. We I, Dale not Dale was the first one to start Doken. I I took it and ran. We had him and Anthony and I were the three that did Doken. We passed along to our friends Donald and Matthew. Then it slowly went to Will. Then it went to our buddy Sal, who plays it still plays it. Aw- Last time I said he said he hasn't played it in a little while. He said he had downloaded it for something, but then got rid of it like about a few days later. So it's off and on for him, but it's like a ninety percent off with like a ten percent on. Then we had Will. Then we were slowly getting it spread throughout our school. One of our friends, Colin, played it. Didn't he get Carissa to play it for like a, like three days? Like, hey, babe, yeah. play this. But I don't understand. Dragon Ball Super Saiyan? What are these? What? What is this language you speak of? <laughs> Dragon Ball? What? Those aren't words. What are you doing? Key? Kaio Ken? Now you're just making up words. God. Uh, I feel old. Also, do you remember when they made units like SSR, like the uh, Go Tanks, where different key? It wasn't like LRs where they have different super attacks. Yes, it was like the different keyed super attacks, and you so on some of them you didn't want the full key because the super attack wouldn't do as much. Yeah, you're talking about the Go Tanks units. All the super yes. say, all the go tanks units have that. They have like a they they get their super attack at nine nine keys. So you got nine and ten as one attack, eleven is another, and twelve is another one. Nine being the worst, eleven being the best, and twelve being like right in the middle, the most beneficial because it had buffs to it. Mm-hmm. Do you also remember the ones that you super attacks could change? Like I int, think so. like int Buhan. Oh, yes, yes. Like, in Buhan would have his, like, Vice Shout, or they do, like, a Kamehameha. Or, like, his Ghost Kamehameha. Same with the, uh, the uh, um, uh, Mighty Mask LR, where their uh, Ultra Super could either be Super Saiyan Go Tanks or Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Mm-hmm. Man, I wish they'd do more stuff like that. Do you remember the Shenron animation? Oh my god, Shenron, yes, the 1% animation chance. That people still, to this day, do not believe it's real. Even though multiple Doken YouTubers, like Nano and all of them, have put it up. And they're like, no, that's edited. I mean, it looked edited, come on, we gotta be honest, that looked edited. It looked horrible, <laughs> but it was real. You remember those old, crappy animations? Like, if I go oh do a- Oh my gosh. If I do a- I got Hercule flying in on the left! Yep. Like, I'm doing her right now. I mean, it looks a lot better right now, I'm just doing a friend summon so I can get the thing. But right now, the old, like, the Goku now is a lot more detailed than he used to be. Like, if I went and go found... I think I've kept doing this in old videos. I could go find one of my old Doken videos that probably has me summoning with those crappy animations. It was so bad. It was, but my gosh, was it great. Because you look back and you think back, it's like, wow. Let's see how far we've come. Let's see, do I actually... It's been... Well, I'm, I'm almost forgetting what the animations look like, Will. I'm almost forgetting. I'm about to fix that. I'm about to go watch one of my old videos. Shout out to K.H. Hauser. He's a fun YouTuber. <laughs> Shout out to myself. <laughs> there it is. There's the old animation. Where is this the big uh, sphere? Of the Boo Sphere from a Budokai game? And he's just standing there. My god, that animation is terrible. But I immediately, but I remember it and it's great. Do you remember when they... No, everything I'm thinking of of Do You Remember, you weren't around for when it first dropped because when Super Saiyan was released as a thing, I think when you hopped in, Super Saiyan 2 and 3 were already summon animations. Mm -hmm. Because back in my day, when you... It was originally just base Goku. Then you had Super Saiyan Goku. If you had a Super Saiyan Goku, it was guaranteed SSR. Now it's like a guaranteed SR. Then you had the yeah, rainbow so, letters. Yeah, these were these 
were times with four guaranteed SSR multi summons. They were guaranteed SR. You were not guaranteed an SSR for fifty stone. No, nowadays you are. Nowadays, gosh, I've rainbowed so many stupid units, and I've got so many units that I don't need off of those. When you would get a rainbow pull down, you would want it to stay base because that was a guaranteed screen crack. Oh, and it still is. Were, no, but I mean, like, screen cracks were guaranteed SSRs. So you'd be summoning, and you'd see rainbow, and you'd be like, oh, stay base, please. But then if it went Super Saiyan, then it had like a 50% chance of being Super yeah. Saiyan. God, Super Saiyan is just has ruined this game. And then you remember when da Data Miner supposedly Data Mined like a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku oh, it's still, summoning animation. It's in this and, game. It just hasn't been used. It's just never been used. That was like four years ago like yeah when these new animations first came out we got all this stuff like to this day it's still sitting in the code it just hasn't been used and no one knows why it's because they hate us i mean what would they give us at that point three lrs at like guaranteed like just it's kind of like a weiss you get or a Goku Black Rift, just the guaranteed a Zeno, so, banner unit. Uh, no, those, those are the guaranteed newest units. Weiss, yeah. Rift, and Zeno. Yeah. But, I mean, that, that just seems like a waste, honestly, because that'd be a fourth animation. Then you have Vegito Blue. No, Vegito Blue is LR. Yes, Vegito Blue is guaranteed LR. Yeah. Super Vegito's is Doken Fest. Yeah. But, like, I feel like that'd be... It'd have to be something different. Like, how Super Saiyan God is three SSRs. It'd have to be, like, three like three or, or five SSRs. Or, like, like two, two guaranteed banner units or something. Like, it has to be, like... Or three featured units. Three featured SSRs. Yeah, something... Something crazy to where, when you get it, it's like getting a, a buy guys back in the day. Uh, do you remember back when back in the day of the animations and it was just originally a by guys? You had its yeah. over Frieza and by guys Goku and those are the only two screen cracks that were. Do you also remember the original intelligence LR Gohan's walk up where it was literally yes. they just moved the picture? Is this a PNG just bobbing? Yes, of course. That's one of the greatest <laughs> things Doken has ever done. Literally just moving a picture. And now they've updated it to where he actually walks. I wish they'd go back and redo some of those older animations. They yeah. can. They 100% can. They just won't. And they're like, meh, it's not worth our time. Because they're haters. And they are. They're Gohan haters. Actually, no, they're not. Gohan and Vegeta are the only two that ever had these. But point, point aside... Do you remember when friend summons were relevant? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wonder how many friend points I have. I always use them at anniversary because they have the... Um... Right now I'm sitting at one, two, three, a million friend points. Because I use them during anniversaries because they get the uh, like elder, like the boob box guys. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I always zero mine out come anniversary. But the fact that I'm at Probably a million need to do that this year. The fact that I'm at a million and it's kind of scary because I didn't real I don't realize how much I've actually done. I mean, I've been doing a lot more link leveling, so I mean that makes a lot of sense right there. Huh. I never finished that boss rush that I started because I started looking up all this stuff on Doken Wiki, so I need to finish this first before I can. I'm on the last one. Well, my power level is almost two million in in the Doken. 1.7 wow really out here it was like it's like a, I feel like it was like 1.1 1 .1 like a month ago and one of the best old things remember when link levels were first added oh my gosh and they screwed up some of our units 
screwed up. Go. Um, they screwed up a lot of our units. Like the Goku Frieza? Because back in the day, when you had the LR Goku Frieza, they were the hardest hitting unit in the game by far. Mm-hmm. But they, they had a key, not overflow glitch. We're actually going to talk about the overflow glitch too in a minute. I don't know if you remember that or not. But I think so. you would put them in the middle. So shocking speed would give, say, three key. They would get six accumulated key because this unit shares shocking speed and this unit has shocking speed. So it's being activated twice and they get six key. That got changed at the link level, so they made it normal and technically correct. But, man, I miss those days. You remember pre-hidden uh, potential system? Yes. I remember being. I remember walking around right... Well, I've told you, uh, people out there, I have a very vivid iman- imagination. I still do. Will knows this. At least I think he does. Yes. But right before AGL Super Vegito came out, I had a stupid... Th- I'm gonna, I, I was 15 at the time, or 16. I, I wasn't super old. I was old enough that this is going to sound embarrassing. But I was walking outside near my chicken pen. I was like... Man, could you imagine, like, if a super boss came around and, like, my buddies all played and they're just playing Doken, like, Beyblade, because, we like, Beyblade and stuff is still somewhat popular. At least we still talk about it. And, like, it's one of those, oh, my Beyblade, it lost. Who who will save us? And I, I had a stupid image in my head of me showing up with Super Vegito in hand. It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. Because I didn't understand how the hidden potential was. So the guy would come down, punch Vegito. He'd be like, nah. He'd crit, he'd counter crit immediately. And then he'd do like four super attacks. It's like, oh my god, Hayden, you're incredible. I ha- It's one of those stupid like anime, anime moments of I'm stronger than everybody. I never told you that, no. have I, Will? <laughs> no, you have not. <laughs> There's a lot more to it. Because I also imagine, like, Doken fusing. Do you remember when we talked about fusing Doken units? Yes. That would have broken the game. Like, nowadays, that would 100% break the game. Because imagine, let's say, if you could fuse Tech Go- Ultimate Gohan with Vegito. So every super attack he does greatly raises the super. He guards with damage reduction and counters. It'd be ridiculous. And then we talked about uh, the oh, I talked the overflow mechanic it break. You don't remember that? I do not. How do you check how many friend points do you have? Uh, go to the friend point and just hit the friend point summon. It'll tell you. Oh, there we go. What is that? Um, I have one point three million. Ah, you're a little bit ahead of me. But I haven't <laughs> used a friend point summon in like. <laughs> So, so te- a year and a half. Uh, so, oh, that's oh, that that's much sadder on my end. So, well, I'm going to talk. I got one thing I'm going to tell you, Will. Then I got another thing I'm excited for that I'm going to tell you about afterwards. But the overflow glitch came out in year four. It's where, like, when the Super Saiyan fours were released, mm-hmm. they had like an, a key overflow glitch. So you know, it's twenty four key is the maximum amount of key you can get. Mm-hmm. They had it as a glitch where technically. It, it, the bar would, though it didn't show it, would keep filling up. So if you let's say if you got a full key of AGL key spheres, that's 50 key spheres for, like, say, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Super Saiyan mm-hmm. 4 Goku got four key per one AGL key sphere obtained. So that's like 100 key spheres right there. His bar would f- technically fill up four separate times. Jeez. And it would cause him to do, like, 10 million damage. That's how, like, the punching bag event was able to be beat. People would just use that and glitch it. And I was like, man, what about Global? We don't have that. We never got it. JP gets all the stupid accidents, so they walk so we can run. But by God, do I hate that, because they're treated so much better. They 100% are. They are the baby. We are the adopted stepchild that no one wants. We are the red-headed stepchild that... I take offense to the first part of that sentence. Nobody wants... I said it on purpose. Fuck you. Get wrecked. Speaking of fucks, Will! Yes. Final Fantasy sixteen dropped a demo today. I saw. And oh my god, you would like it. 
Like, I'm not even saying... It gives me, like, Skyrim vibes. Like, Skyrim with, like, a Dark Souls vibe. Problem. I'm still massively addicted to Destiny. You know what, Will? I will go talk to Bungie and tell them to stop, to shut their servers down, just so you can play. I wish they would, because it is... After Final Shape, I wish they would just be like, okay, we're done. And that way I can escape from this death grip that Destiny has had on me for oh. a decade now. But we'll come play Final Fantasy 16 with me. See if you can get the demo. See if you can get the demo on X- on your Xbox. We'll see. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is probably going to be my game of the year right now. Uh, Sorry, Hayden. I'm getting an important call. One second. All right. But while this goes on, I'll say this for our people out there. Games and gamers, go check out our other podcast, Games and Gamers. We're, we're, we're winding this down, so we're in our final few minutes. But go check out Games and Gamers podcast. If you're on YouTube, I'll put a link down below. If you're not, you got to come on right now. Unfortunately, it's only on YouTube. We're going to have it on Spotify probably. Probably come the end of July, we're going to have Games and Gamers on Spotify and iTunes. But until then, it's a YouTube exclusive. So come do that. We're going to talk about Mario Odyssey in our upcoming episode. We're going to talk Final Fantasy VII after, and Dragon Ball Z Kakarot immediately after. I'm completely spoiling the uh, Games and Gamers rundown, but you know what? That's okay. Not, not everybody who listens to this listens to that, so eh, we'll see. But do that, and uh, uh, yeah. Games and Gamers is fun. Miss old Doken. New Doken is definitely fun, though. Not even going to deny it. I want them to start doing the stuff they haven't done in a hot minute. I want more crossovers. Doken, I know you're hearing me because we have the possible spy in our thing who's here, heard our Doken ideas for years now. I want more crossovers. I don't care with who. Give us Attack on Titan crossover. Give us Demon Slayer crossover. Even if we don't get a unit out of it, give us like a... Tr- it could be like a... Uh, a uh, Hercule statue selling thing. It's like, all right, here's I'm a back. Okay, I was sitting there just, I was bitching. Uh, okay, sorry, I was a. Uh, oh, you're good. Doctor calling me. Oh, um, are you dying? Yes, of dementia. Um. <laughs> same, same. I forget. I forget what month. I forget what month it is this year. Uh, um, but what were you complaining about? I want more crossovers. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was thinking they could do crossovers like Demon Slayer and stuff like that, but as opposed to giving us unit, they give us a Hercule statue of, let's say, Tanjiro, Eren, Meliodas, Baki. Mm-hmm. You know, character, it's just a thing, so that's their crossover thing. That way they don't screw with the game. It's just, here you go. Here's that one specific thing, and here's your character. That, that's your point that you were around during it. I wish they would do that. I wish they would make a good Demon Slayer game. But I, 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 hold on, Will. I, did you see they have released one? Yeah, I saw they released one. Demon but Slayer I, Blade of Hashira? Yeah, I saw that it came out, but I I haven't seen anything like good about it. I, I downloaded it. I played for like five minutes. Like, wait a minute. I don't want to get into another anime game. I'm already, crip- I'm already dick- addicted to Doken. Will, do you have five stones? I do. You want to do a single summon? Yes. Also, I meant like a good like fighting story type, kind of like a the like the Naruto like a one. Naruto Storm Ninja Storm type. Did you see they're doing like a remaster with all of them? I did not. They get, it's like something coming out. I think this year it may already be out. I don't think it is, but it's like all the Ninja Storm games in one. All right, I'm going to go in. Be nice. I'm doing a single summon on the 17. It's my last summon. Me too. Yamcha and Vegeta. I got Beerus, Tien, and um, Trunks. I got Tech King Cold Angel. I'm surprised we don't have a Dokenfest King Cold, if I'm being I honest. got SR Android 19. I think we both lose this one, Will. The most common unit in the game. Bro, I swear I see that man like every multi-summon. God. Hold on. Before we do this, before I give us a topic for our next one, because I actually have a good topic for this upcoming one. I've kind of talked about it on this one. Let me go to my SRs. 
What SR do I have the most of? Let's see, five tech cells, 12 SSRs tech Goku from the Universe 6 tournament. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. 21 buff SR boos. 23 <laughs> base SR Gokus from like year one. Men's is haunted by Boo. 18 white hot face off Gokus. 18. But yes, I'm 100% haunted by Boos. But that winds down our episode for today. Will, are you ready for our next topic? I'm ready. Let's hear it. Our next topic is things we want to see Doken do more of. Get rid of World Tournament. End no, of episode. No, do more of. Exactly. Get rid of World Tournament. End of episode. That's doing something different. Like, I was sitting there bitching about, like, I want to do more crossovers. That's a perfect... That, like, I, I knew what I was doing. I was segueing into it. Of I want it to end. I want us to do more crossovers. So, our next episode, we're going to talk about things we want that Doken has done in the past, whether it's been once or lesser times than others, that we want to see them do more. So, Sounds good to me. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. We're gonna have we're gonna have somebody new with us on this next episode, Will. Someone who's never oh, yeah. been on Doken Who. I don't Who know. would that be? Uh, uh, uh you don't know him. <laughs> who would that be? I know, Will. You're supposed to had you said Doken Who would that be, it would have been funnier. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Say it. Say it and see if it's funnier. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> you bastard. The joke is best. <laughs> uh, but thanks all for listening. Go listen to our past episodes of Doken Win now on, on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube under KH Hauser. Go check out my other podcast, Games and Gamers, where Danger and I yell at each other. Well, did, have I ever told you that the Halo games should not exist? Why? Why should they not exist? What's happening here? <laughs> well, if you want to know. Go listen to Games and Gamers. I will. We will see you all in the next episode. Say bye, Will. Later. Bye, everybody.